Hello everyone, welcome to an Oscar special. I am Avian Knighton. And I am. And just so you guys know, Aaron is the dark side of multiversity and we love him for it. Here, you know who else is? Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett did the thing. Okay, and Viola Davis, my woman king. Period. So, at the 95th Academy Awards, when it came to the Best Supporting Actress nominations, of course, everyone thought Auntie was going to win, and she was a shoe in because when she gave that monologue in Wakanda Forever, mm -hmm. not to have to part, but I would expect nothing less from the world's Auntie. Like, I would expect nothing less. Queen. Queen. She was like a literal yeah. queen. Leo. She put her heart and soul into it in, in everything she's in. She was nominated for What's Love Got to Do With It for Best Leading Actress. 30 years ago for playing Tina Turner and when I tell you she, she did the damn thing she did the damn thing that's what Ariana DeBose meant when she said and everyone was hoping name was gonna be called had the prayer circles had the prayer circles had like watch parties the mood was set because Ki Kwong one for best supporting actor because he deserved it. My yep. man deserved it. And so everything was on a high. Okay, okay, he won. It's Angela's turn now. It didn't happen. Ariana called Jamie Lee Curtis's name. People were not happy about that because it were everything all at once. Great movie. Period. Fantastic movie. Oh, yeah. If Angela didn't win, Stephanie, who played the daughter in everything, everywhere, all at once, really deserved the recognition because she played so many different characters in that movie. Jamie Lee Curtis is an incredible actress and yes she does deserve an Oscar. No doubt about it. But for this? Because everyone's like oh sure Angela will get a chance again. When it comes to the Academy they never really recognize black women. Yes she might be nominated again maybe. If she does fantastic. But do you know how hard it is for a black woman to be nominated for an Oscar. That, that was a 30 year gap, y'all. Okay. White actions don't get those gaps. Maybe 10 years, maybe 5 year gaps, but for a black actress, it is much harder to be nominated for an Oscar. Other than Lupita and Hallie, who else? As far as one? Just any, like nominated or anything. Viola, obviously. Viola Regina. Jennifer Hudson, black women dominated the best supporting actors. What do they all have in common? Ooh, let's not go there. No, no, no let's go there. No, let's go there. Like, let's they, go they all, they all got to deal with something. Them going through some things. They got to cry their asses off. They got to be getting beat on. They got to have basically. I'm glad for you, Hallie. We don't leave that at the table because that's 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 mother. There's a lot of. Uh, black women who get nominated for these awards, who win these awards, but they have to go through some very rough trials and tribulations, like physically, and, you know, like, it's it's got to be more, it's like that whole work twice as hard thing, like, you know, they can act their asses off, but they have to do more, you know, there has to be, like, an extra oomph to it. You know, Viola, she can give our snot cry, but they still want more from her to, you know, for her to finally get that Oscar. It's like, you what know? do we have to do? This is what bothers me about this whole situation. Like, this role that Angela played, she played a queen. Probably the only time she's ever going to get a chance to play a regal character like this. That black women, black girls, like, oh, we came from Queens, we came from, mm -hmm. you know, this is who we really are, right. or how we're really meant to be shown. That type of role, it probably will come in the future, but the reason why the role was so propelled was yeah. because it was a Marvel property. If it wasn't a Marvel property, she probably wouldn't have got recognized for it, which sucks. Because look at what happened with the woman. Okay, I look. Look at what we're on the same wavelength. But look at what happened with the woman king. Great film. Yeah. Fantastic. Viola acted her ass off. All of the actresses acted their asses off. Man. Yeah. Viola was supposed to be a shoe in yeah. to be at least in the running for mm -hmm. best 
actress because she True. she was nominated for yep. all the other awards in this award season. But what else? About yeah, what else? else yeah. Do we have to do in order for the Academy to truly recognize us? They have to be a credit to their race. Exactly. Word to Hattie. Because when Hattie Medina was nominated for her Best Supporting Oscar for Gone with the Wind, they wrote her speech for her. She That's didn't nice. get a chance to say how she truly felt. Mm. Nothing. Okay? It's a mess. And it's just heartbreaking because black women deserve have their talent known. How long will it take? It's like how long it took for the Academy to recognize. It didn't really start until 2000s. To where they really were yeah. like, oh, black women post Halley. are actually really good at acting. At, at, like, no shit! Yeah, a mess. But Again, like every other year, a black woman's been nominated and won. And that's one for best supporting actors. Like I said, what type of roles do they play? Right. Mates, slaves, bad mm-hmm. women. And it wasn't until Regina King won for The Bill She Could Talk. That is mother. Regina King is mother. We love you, girl. Mm-hmm. Now, I'll say that to say this. When Angela Bassett didn't win, and you could see the disappointment and the hurt Man. on her face. Man. We were hurt for her because we knew what she put yeah. into that role. We knew what she had to go through to get to where she is. Because especially she, what happened with Chadwick. Especially with Chadwick. When she was on the red carpet for E, when uh-huh. Laverne Cox was interviewing her, right. she said, uh, Laverne Cox asked her, now, how's it? what's the difference between being nominated 30 years ago and being nominated now what, what's the difference you feel and she said i feel more loved i feel more supported i feel great and the fact that people were getting to a certain type of demographic was getting on her case because she didn't stand, did, up. Didn't stand up and clap knowing that she worked her ass off right we as the black community weren't having it because we weren't buying it period she was hurt we were hurt yeah yeah, we grew up with her. She is. Yeah, awesome. Literally, literally. We're here for you, Angela. We, okay. Aaron and I, are going to do our damnedest. Period. To make sure that you get that Oscar. Period. Do I do I open up the can of worms here? Go ahead. Go ahead so, um, it. you know, I think because Angela, who, 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 now, you know what? Let's just, let's, you know, it's not Aaron without opening up the can of worms. So let's just call a spade a spade. Because the reason in my opinion as a scholar of film well let's call myself that yeah you know screenwriting and all that but you know a scholar of film today i think because black women women in general are seen as a, a product you know in society you know since for a very long time you know post colonization you know, that's neither here nor there for some people, a certain demographic, as Avia said, but, you know, black women, regardless of what their role has been, specifically in American society, is still an object. It's either a maid, you know, somebody who works, a modern maid, you know, somebody who just works their ass off, you know, the single mother, the mother of three, the mother of ten, the, you know, the married single mother, you know, who's just there, or she's just a product to birth children, or she's a sex object, you know, and if you go back to what happened in black exploitation, you know, before, uh, what, Foxy Brown and Cleopatra Jones, you know, like, the woman, specifically the black woman, is just a image to look at and admire. You know, it's the, uh, oh my God, I don't want to be one of those artsy filmmaker dudes, but it's the male gaze. It is the male gaze, okay? Now that we're getting away from that, people have an issue. Have an issue. Right, and specifically with black women, they say, you know, black women with a. No, I'm just going to have to make that claim. Black women were one of the last demographics to finally say enough is enough. I'm tired of this. I'm not not going to stand for this. 
because you know everything begins and ends with the woman everything begins and ends with black women if we really want to keep it above you know and specifically in film there was this idea that black women are just on the side if they're this you know unless they're a certain you know there's a whole thing about the colors issue you know we ain't gonna touch on that but it's there y'all and now that these women are saying, hey, we deserve these accolades, we deserve this. Like Angela Bassett and Jamie Lee Curtis, very similar in terms of like working their ass off since they were very young. But Jamie got that Oscar just as a pick for a pity party. You know, kind of like how they did with uh, Whoopi Goldberg with the color purple and they didn't give it to her. And she acted, okay, she acted ass off as Seeley. You know, but the difference is there is that Whoopi was, you know, Whoopi was not going to, everyone knew she was not going to get nominated again. You know, they only did it for Ghost because they're like, oh yeah, we really screwed up, huh? You know, and with Jamie Lee, like, they just did it because, you know, Nepo Baby, that, that whole talk that we can, we can, that's for, that's for them folk. That's for them folk. We ain't those folk who going to talk about it, but, you know... Jamie Lee could get nominated, like, the point is, I gave you a saying, Jamie Lee could get nominated a lot of times, but Angela Bassett cannot, and that's the big issue, because if it wasn't the issue, she would have gotten nominated for the first Black Panther. She would have gotten nominated for Waiting to Hill. Still, how Stella got her clues back. You know, like... Every genre you can think of, she's been in, and they're not giving her her flowers because they don't want to give her her flowers. Because at the end of the day, regard I, I know I know you 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 fellas, because I know it's fellas and a couple of birds out there, you know, some bees and birds who don't want to acknowledge it. But y'all, most of the things that happen in the American system are rooted in racism. And then when you tr unravel it, it's also rooted in the sexism. And then the sexism and the racism create this dynamic that still hasn't been solved. And, you know, that's why people feel some type of way. And shame on Jamie Lee Curtis for shading Angela three days ago on Instagram. But, you know. Yeah, that wasn't necessary. <laughs> it, it, it was not necessary. But... Aaron. There is also, but this goes into, an, like we're saying, it's an academy issue. And what's, what the problem is with the academy is that they have, have these voters who don't even watch the movies. It makes no sense. Who are you rooting for tonight? I'm rooting for um, everybody black. <laughs> I am. 